What's going on, everybody? We are back at it. We are booting into the Ultimate USB version 2, the greatest USB on Earth. If you haven't got one already, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you live under a rock, but you need to head over there and check it out. It'll be linked here, so don't worry about that. Pick one up, guys. You won't regret it. All right, so today we are doing another review of a WinPE environment. This is one that one of my viewers told me about, so I wanted to check it out. It's called Anktech or Anktech. Maybe I butchered that, but anyway, we're going to check it out. It's one of the, I guess, lesser known ones, at least for me, um, but it looked pretty cool. So it has a mini and it has a full. So let's go ahead and jump into the mini and see what this thing's all about. Nice. Booted up really quick. I would expect that from a mini. So I'm assuming this is going to be the slim version, and there's probably not nearly as many utilities. But let's poke around and see what this thing's all about. Okay, so that brings us to our system folder. It's nothing in favorites, but they have it, so you can probably pin things. There's a download. There's a run dialog box. This is just from the start menu, obviously. This PC, let's see where that takes us just to our basic file explorer. Okay, so nothing too crazy there. I did see a control panel. I'd like to see what that does. Let's go back into this PC control panel. Okay, so the classic control panel here. And nothing too crazy yet. Again, this is the mini version, so I wouldn't uh, expect too many uh, bells and whistles here. But right away, some very well-known utilities. We've got the EZUS Data Recovery. We've got a Cronus True Image. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. So maybe this is for... Looks like you can do things with WIM files here. Source Destination... So maybe this is for ripping images. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably because it says G image X. That would make sense. All right, let's just test a couple, make sure things are working because I have learned my lesson with DLC boot. It looks good. Quick memory test. Nice. Another RAM test. That's working. A little lag there. That could be the VM, though. We'll give it a second, guys. All right. Looks like it's good now. So we also have a password unlocker here. We've got a hardware info drive snapshot, probably for backing it up to an image. And let me see what else is in here. I don't know if they put everything on the desktop or not. Doesn't look like it. Here's some office tools. Cool. We've got a Notepad++. we got a WinSnap, and we've got a PDF viewer there, hardware utilities, nice, so there's quite a bit here for a uh, light version or a mini, so let's just go right down the line here guys, disk tools, we've got AOMI, Crystal Disk Mark, Crystal Disk Info, this is the one I use for benchmarking, uh, Defragler, Disk Genius, very good, very nice setup here, uh, a lot of well-known utilities again, we've got 7-Zip, WinRAR, WinMerge, under hardware, we've got some batter, a battery utility, burn and test, core temp, hardware monitor, HW info, SBC. I'm liking this, guys. This looks very nice. There's our office utilities, some other utilities. Uh, we saw this in a previous video with Herons, I believe. Let's just launch a couple of these, make sure they're working. Not a problem there. So really with this one, it looks like you want to go to all programs and then navigate your different um, categories here for utilities. Security, we've got quite a few there. System tools. So man, I really got to do a, a review on the full because if this is the mini, the full must be jam-packed with utilities. Very nice. You know, this did not disappoint, guys. Uh, if you haven't checked this one out, I would recommend you check this one out. Even better yet, pick up that USB. Like I said, I'll probably include this on the new ones. And if you guys bought one previously and you want this, uh, hit me up. It's very simple to add anything onto those USBs. But I can definitely walk you through that if need be. 
All right, this was a quick review on the mini version of that Onctech or Anctech uh, WinP environment. So I'll definitely be doing another one, guys, to do the full version of this. But so far, from what I see here for a mini, this is definitely two thumbs up. One of the better minis that I've seen out there for a WinP environment. I don't even know if I'd call this a mini. That's why I'm very curious to see what the, the full version looks like. Because this is... This is a competitor for, you know, contending with those top shelf WMP environments. What do you guys think? Have you used this? If not, you probably want to check it out. It's pretty sweet. All right, guys, so this was a quick one. Just wanted to introduce you guys and just kind of poke around in the OnkTech WMP environment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I know 90 plus percent of you guys are not subscribers. It doesn't cost you a dime. Just click that little bell there. I mean, that little subscribe button. Hit the bell while you're at it and get notifications. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Hit that thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Share this with your friends. Till the next one, have a great day. Take care, everyone. Uh -huh.